three types of model. I think it's more for explaining that. Um, so you can have the foundation model, which is serverless and fully managed by Airbrick. So you have a pay per token basis. Uh, so every time you send one well, you will be you will be billed, for example, one token. It's roughly one token by world. Uh, so that's the first type of model, and you have all the Lama 2, Mistral, MPT models available, and also one uh, to create the embeddings. So that's one type of model. And then you have the external model, which is the brand new thing we just added. Um, so external model, it's like, a, it's kind of like a, a, proxy. A, a gateway to an external model. Yeah, proxy, exactly, we could, which could be uh, AWS Bedrock, could be Anthropic, or the usual OpenAI on Azure on, on the, like the original GPT model. Uh, and it's great because you can set up the connection chain and the password only once, and then you can still serve everything through the bricks. So it, it makes it super easy to start, for example, with an external model, and then you can switch to an open source model fully managed by their bricks. And the last type of model uh, is a custom model that you can deploy yourself. So you could be using Mosaic ML to fine tune your own model, or even you know build your own model from scratch. And it's going to be one model that you sell. Uh, so you really have these kind of three types of model, and it's all using the same API, fully unified, and makes it super easy to switch from one to another. So do you think we can call external models that they are like under the Lake House Federation? Yeah, it's kind of Lake House Federation yeah. for LLM. Yeah, yeah. And you have this aspect of not only governance, but you can also handles uh, you don't need actually to understand the uh, you have a standard format for all the models whether it's entropic uh, g uh, open ai and you can also fix for example uh, a remit limit of rates for example this user for example you hubbert you can only uh, run i don't know uh, 10 queries per minute and you can fix this to make sure you control the cost with because this is something that can go crazy quickly and and plus the, the all the governance that you can handle on Databricks while accessing the data you have on your lake house. And it's very easy. I mean, to be honest, I'm not a, I'm not a big, big uh, expert in the ML world, but I find it very easy to get started with the, with the external models. I just create secret scopes toward my API key and started doing some, uh, some uh, prompt engineering 